All right, let's go find some good looking fonts and make our page not look like it's 1995. Huh? We'll be using Google Fonts, but uh, remember, it's not the only way to load fonts. It's just really convenient and hopefully it will help you understand how to change fonts. So I'm just using it for convenience. So here we are. I'm going to go to fonts.google.com. Uh, right. Let's see, what should we use? I'm gonna just use one that's super obvious. Roboto Condensed. I know Google uses Roboto. Is it Roboto or Railway? Use one of them. Um, so look at this. When I click this uh, plus icon, it adds it to this little dialog box right here. So I can embed it. I embed it, like I said, using a link tag or an import statement. Um, so I'm just gonna use this import statement, copy this guy, I'm gonna go in our CSS, boom, 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 paste it here, save. But remember, that's not enough. At this point, we're loading the font, but we still have to use it. So we have to specify who on our page should use this. So I'm, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the body. Uh, Roboto condensed, save. Let's go back here, refresh, and look at that. Our fonts just changed. Now, you can use multiple fonts. You can't, you don't have to use just one. Uh, so let's say I wanna use Roboto uh, Condense for the body, and let's use one that's super obvious for the, this, <laughs> this be so ugly, but, uh, okay, let's do this one. Uh, what's this one called? Spectral SC. I'm also going to import this guy and then on the H1, I'm gonna use that. Okay, right click, there we go. Walter White. Um, this is actually not a bad font. I like it. And so you can see how it's uh, really not that difficult to change your fonts please be aware of performance. Please don't load 10 fonts in here, okay? It's going to slow down your page. I'm gonna show you something cool here. If you switch to the network tab, uh, these are all the files that are uh, that your page is downloading using. Uh, your index.html, CSS, your image, CSS. Um, and then there is, you can actually filter it by font. Look, we're loading two different fonts here. Right, these are the, the two that we chose, you know, Roboto and the other one. These take some time. These take bandwidth, especially if your users are, if they don't have great devices or if they don't have great Wi-Fi. This type of thing makes a big difference and you already wanna start thinking about this. I know performance is a, is a huge topic and it's actually kind of an advanced topic, but I want you to get used to thinking about the end user. You're not building things for yourself. I mean, you are to a degree at this stage, but ultimately you're building things for other people to use. And so be mindful of those things. With that said, uh, I don't really have a problem with loading a couple of fonts from Google Fonts. Uh, and um, yeah, this is basically how you do it. And with uh, you know all of that out of the way, we have a fairly respectable looking page. Let's take a look. You know, it's not great, but it's okay. I do think you should play around with the colors. Again, this is the third time I'm mentioning this. And, uh, you know, if, if, you've, if you have what I have here, you should be proud of it. We covered a lot of things in this course, a lot of basic concepts, uh, starting from nothing, really. We, we had zero CSS before we started, and now look at this page. In my opinion, we wrote the least amount of code while getting the best results. I mean, you, you really don't have, I don't know how many lines of CSS we have, but it's really not much. Clearly, there's so much more you can do with CSS and that will be for future courses. Things including more advanced selectors, more complicated positioning and layouts. We haven't talked about centering things. Uh, if you wanna push something to the right or uh, all that, trust me, I am working very hard to bring you guys all of that stuff, but my friends, you gotta learn to crawl before you learn to walk. And you just took your first big step towards mastery. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed with me for the entirety of this course, you are one badass If you built your profile resume alongside me, uh, please share it with me and with the world, Instagram, tweet, email, whatever you prefer. You can always send me your questions. I, I try really hard to respond to everybody. Whether you continue your CSS journey or jump to JavaScript or anything else you're interested in, I hope you continue and just keep building stuff. I gave you all these tools and you know, use them. Nothing is stopping you from making more pages. Make one for your friend, make one for your girlfriend or boyfriend and experiment with all the ideas that I taught you. Thank you for watching and specifically I would like to apologize all the people that I offended including our friends in North Korea. Uh, please, please have mercy on me. And my least favorite thing to do, asking you to please subscribe and share this material with people. If you know anybody who's interested, I work very hard to get the word out there and get the course material out there. But as you know, the internet is noisy. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. That was cool, man. No, I, th I thought it was good. Yeah. I thought it was really good.